What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome to my free to play guide for Legendary Deidras, Abyssal, Infernal and Lunatic map. So I've got the usual free to play squad and you don't really need any kind of skill inheritance or any kind of sacred seal, you just need their base kits and that should be fine for the entirety of this video. So Deidras map is uh, an open map so you want to start by Having your Regan go over here and destroying the sturdy impact Axe Fighter. Kinda surprised that they made this Lance Fighter, uh, Lance Knight, a far save instead of a near save because I thought with Deidra they would surely put a near save armor unit. So you wanna retreat over here with Kanto and then just have Ash teleport over here. Now there is the speed defense ruse happening, um, but Ash is not gonna be targeted by that. And we can easily take out that uh, Cavalier. So now you want to go ahead and attack this Lance Knight to get some debuffs. So that Regan can take out this Bow Fighter. And Ash can just take out this uh, Lance Knight pretty easily. With that Bonfire. Yeah. And now we can just take out this Bow Fighter which was not possible before without the debuffs. And we can easily retreat and uh, be careful of this uh, Fatal Smoke. Red Thief, who can be really annoying. So they usually put Fatal Smoke somewhere because it could just stop the sparkling boost of air. So yeah, unfortunately Peony got roost, but that should be fine. And Deidre is coming down, but we're definitely going to be taking our time before attacking her. So you just want to go ahead and take out this Red Thief over here. And get the panic on these two mages. And then just take out this Blue Cavalier. The cheeky guy had Poison Strike. And after moving Ash down, you can just uh, dance up air and have her bait out this green mage. Thankfully, the Restore Healer shows up on the left side of the map, so Panic is going nowhere. And Deidre is now going to be going on the right side of the map, targeting Regan. So now we can go ahead and simply take out this uh, Cleric. Get the Ice Bird charged up, which is going to be pretty helpful for taking out this... Uh, Fire Sweep Bow Flyer, Maybe who also has the Trace Skill. And Iceberg, even after being panicked, is going to be fine. We can yeah. just go ahead and take out this Red Mage over here. And then I can just end my turn. So Deidre is going to be going on the left side now because Dragon moved there. And we can just over bait here. out um, Deidre and this Lance Flyer, who does have the Odd Tempest. So Cal is going to be taking out this Axe Fighter with that big bonfire. And now we just have Deidre left. So we can just get yes. some debuffs on her after attacking this uh, Lance Fighter. And she doesn't really get her Miracle against the melee units. So Ash can easily auto double her. And she doesn't even have Null follow up or any kind of ally giving that. So that is going to be the easy infernal solution. And now let's move on to the big bad Abyssal difficulty. So for the Abyssal Difficulty, I've got the same team. You don't need any kind of Sacred Seal or any skill inheritance, but the approach to this map is definitely going to be different for the Abyssal Difficulty. So the units have a lot more HP now, and Deidre has got Deflect, Missile, Sacred Seal. Yeah. So I can just go over here with Regan, and we have to take out this Axe Fighter. Maybe Otherwise, he can be a bit of an annoyance to Three. Ash. And we can also teleport over here with Ash. So you can go ahead and just take out this Axe Fighter pretty easily. And then you want to teleport and go on the right side of the map. So now this um, this bow fighter is going to be going on the right side. And I'm going to be playing a bit less aggressively on the Abyssal map. So we can just have our air go on this side. And then we can dance up Ash. And this is going to be providing buffs to everyone especially to air Over here? so we can go ahead and take out this bow fighter pretty easily and then we can just retreat over here and air is going to be taking on these two mages while ash can easily take on these two uh, melee units the lance knight is extremely bulky on the abyssal difficulty with that 99 hp of course and he even has ages so fatal smoke uh, guy is going to be giving us the deep wounds effect unfortunately so Ash is not going to be healing up any kind of HP here, but not much is to be healed up anyways because she's not really going to be taking much damage. And now we can just proceed and kill this Lance Knight, finally. The glimmer of life. So yeah, Hardy Fighter ages Lance Knight. 
So we can just go ahead and attack this uh, red thief now. Take him out. The deep wounds was definitely not nice to face. And we can just dance up Regan from over here. And take out this panic cleric before she sabotages anyone with that phantom resistance. And we can also take out this green mage. Now the red mage is uh, panicked, so red mage is still not going to be able to double Peony, which is definitely pretty nice. And now we need to retreat because Deidre is coming here with that 82 attack stat. And she pretty much has over 100 attack at this point. So we can just attack this red mage and then teleport um, with Peony down with Regan and then dance up um, Regan and just have Ash getting the buffs as well. And we can just be over here with uh, Air. So yeah, Ash can just take on these two units. This unit does have the flow skill, so that's why they're able to double Ash. Ash barely surviving, but still doing a pretty good job. So now we can go ahead and just attack this uh, full flyer. Get some debuffs going on. And then Regan can just take out this full flyer. And of course, Cow is going to be taking out Deidre because no null follow up here and no miracle to save her. So 58 times 2, and that is going to be the Abyssal Solution. For the Lunatic difficulty, we don't really have that uh, fridge, so no hardy fighter ages that you have to fight. And uh, we can open up the same way that we opened up with the Infernal difficulty. So you can just have your Regan go over here and Dancer, and just take out this Axe Fighter. Does not even have sturdy impact on the Lunatic. And then we can just teleport with Ash by using Air. So on Lunatic, you can definitely finish this map off a lot faster. And nobody really does any kind of damage to Ash. She's just that bulky. So now we can go ahead and take out this Blue Cavalier. And then we can also go ahead and take out this Archer. And we can just retreat to the side of Ash and let these units come to us. So Deidre is over here and now we can actually go and attack her. So you want to go ahead and just destroy this red mage. Uh, it's a red thief, not the red mage. And we can just go ahead and dance up. And take out this cleric as well. Which does have that uh, panic. But panic is not really that big of a deal. We can go ahead and take out Deidre here. The unity skill is going to be helping. Yeah. And we can also take out this red mage despite the panic. And now the green mage is kind of cornered, so they're going to be going back to attack. But unfortunately, all of their work is going to be getting undone by Sparkling Boost. So Ear can just go ahead and take out this bow flyer. And we can just go ahead and take out this green mage. And counter all the way over here. And then Ash can just finish off this axe fighter. And the final enemy is going to be taken out by Regan, and that is going to be your free to play guide. So, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and a comment. Helps me tremendously. And if you really, really enjoyed, you could always support me directly by using Super Thanks or by becoming a YouTube member. And for more free videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube sub boxes are about as functional as that Axe Fighter in the beginning. So, that's all. See you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.